very low price and not realizing how valuable his item really is and, they, and when the person leaves they are so ecstatically happy that they're going to make a big profit off this sucker suckers product yeah and they all do it yeah. they all do it and that's another bad aspect of negative aspect of capitalism uh, uh, as the stone sticks is the nail sticks between two stones so the sin stick to buying and selling yeah that's, from that's the what bible. god says that's from the bible yeah yeah what god said yeah that's only one verse so uh, like i tell the tea baggers on the online open up your bibles because god is definitely not he's not political but he's definitely not a conservative God is apolitical, has nothing to do with politics, except that he raises up kings and leaders. And he makes sure they're the worst that can be. Why is that? Because he's got punishments to undergo here. You mean you mean all the all the uh, the cruel, selfish, greedy monarchies throughout the world? are allowed for a reason God allows evil he's allowing it all to happen he allows evil you are supposed to resist it and overcome it that's your test so all this bad news we hear on a weekly basis throughout the world caused by God in our end times is allowed by God for a reason correct is it part of a test? Yes, it's not test. So you but have only for the elect. So you have tests and rewards. Okay. Only for the elect. Yeah, not not for not the vast majority of humankind. Not Joseph, which will not be resurrected until the great white throne judgment after the millennium. Yeah, not Joe Sixpack that says he's born again and he repented. And he goes and to... And he will be part of the rapture? And is a rapture... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, sure. The only ones part of the... What is termed the rapture... Are the elect. And they are already proving themselves. Yes. Yeah. Now, speaking of... Uh, oh, by the way, uh, I just want to salute uh, my friend, uh, Paul Terrace Walkowinski, who has made it back to Perth, Australia, safe and sound from his Indian Club World Tour. 2013 and I would like to salute uh, somebody who is actually making made sense when I when I listen to the commercial uh, speaking of porn stars the, uh, the the chubby guy the the son from porn stars was advertising uh, dr. Bill the old-fashioned stainless steel razor that I went back to that I'm using the one that takes the flat blade with the, the two blade, two sides have a blade like I use Wilkinson's sword that you use the brush right. with. No, I'm actually using the Nature's Gate uh, shave gel that you gave me a while ago, and I, I love it. Stuff. Oh, I love it, man! Oh, it's so slick. Yeah, well, it's silicone. It's is it silicon in it. Yeah. Yeah, but organic silicon, right? I don't care what the hell it is. It's silicon, and the more you water, you put to it, the more no, I don't think the more foamy it is. I don't think Nature's Gate would use silicon. So when you try to, uh, uh, when you try to uh, you know, like wash it off, you're making it more. Now the reason why... You gotta wipe it off at the end. As, as a consumer advocate, which we are, I want to salute uh, the uh, actor of, not the actor, the man uh, from Porn Stars for bringing it to the uh, public's attention that the reason why these other uh, razor blade companies have started to make multi-blade uh, disposable razors is so they can charge you more money mm. for more blades. But uh, professionals, like he said, barbers are still using the single blade to get a close shave. And um, I, I get the closest shaves ever with the uh, old-fashioned razor <coughs> with the Wilkinson sword blade. And that used to be a commercial. Oh, the two, the two swords, <laughs> the sabers. Yeah. But the point I'm making is it's economical to use because it's almost one month now 
and I've been I'm still getting shaves from one side of the Wilkinson sword blade almost a month one side of the blade is not dull yet every week it's as sharp as can be mm -hmm. and it I'm just it's not getting dull and I have a feeling the reason why it's not getting dull is because with the old-fashioned razor you're able to open it up and rinse clean it out. and clean it out during the shave under under hot water you could you can't do that with the uh, the double or triple or quadruple bladed disposable you just can't clean it out but with the old-fashioned razor you can clean it out and by keeping this blade clean um, I believe in using um, warm or hot water I think this is the reason why you have a whetstone too I have a whetstone but it, I, I can't do I can't my grandfather used to and I, I just can't seem to sharpen it with the double-edged razor no nah, I tried many many positions many ways I just I just can't sharpen the dull blade but hey I'm getting almost a month out of one side of the of the blade be thankful so I, I'm I'm shocked that it's that it's really lasting that long. I mean, you know, and and the only thing I can think of is the fact that you're able to clean it constantly as you're shaving. I mean, uh, the well, leaving be, stuff on there does corrode it. The, see, that's that's what I'm getting at. Yeah. Debris left on a on a metallic on a razor blade must oxidize the metal or, or corrode it in some way. Pits it. Pits it. It pits it. it. it pits. Okay, let me see how we're doing in terms of readings, because uh, we had a long William H. Morrow. Holy shit. <laughs> we only have room for one. Oh! I guess. I, I well, oh! pick, pick a doozy. <laughs> no, I'll pick a, a letter or two. Pick a doozy, yeah. A letter or two. Okay. Okay. That way, we know it will end with a blast. Eventually. Let's see what we got. I have a question. To all proponents of a minimum wage hike, why limit minimum wage to a subsistence level of $8.25 per hour? Let's just make it fifty dollars per hour. That that sounds uh, appropriate to the high cost of living. This guy is being sarcastic. I know he is. Okay. And with a stroke of the pen, move all struggling minimum wage workers to the middle class. But well, the fact that the matter well, is, pay more taxes. But the fact that the matter is, this is my question regarding welfare. Why is it that we indulge in subsistence level welfare? Why don't we bring those people up to middle class? Those people are just existing. They're then not, they're not on poverty anymore. They're not really living. But we've taken them out of poverty. And when you take them out of poverty, more money is put back into the economy. Yeah! And, and, they, and, and, and they, they join the ranks of the suckers that pay the, the tax burden in America. Yeah! The middle class. Heck, let's make it five hundred dollars per hour. This guy, uh, a wise guy or something, and make them all millionaires. After all, what does this guy have? Is this guy financially independent? He sounds like one. After all, if raising the minimum wage is a good thing, raising it more is even better, is it not? Is this guy, I wonder if he's a tea bag. I, I, I denote a little sarcasm in his letter. Of course, we may have to pay ten thousand dollars for a fast food hamburger, yeah, but it's all for the sake of the underprivileged. He's a wise guy. I want to. I want to. I want to knock this guy out for sure. Give me his name at the end. So we should all be honored to do this sacrifice, yeah. right? Sacrifice him. Price controls in the Soviet Union brought constant shortages of everything, from toilet paper to bread. Price controls in the United States have brought shortages of gas and long lines. Actually, we had price controls during World War II. Restrictions on wages during World War II 
brought employer-provided health insurance and the current mess. No, the current mess is because they don't want to pay anymore for health insurance for their workers. No, well, That's I, the current well, mess. Well, I guess this guy would be in favor of no rent control either. Let, of course. Let, let people pay uh, $5,000 for a studio apartment. Let a the market determine. The market? Yeah. You know, the market is probably rigged. It's an illusion, number one. It's a market. Okay. It's it, it, it's it's a uh, um, it's a uh, freedom for the the people that own the businesses and the uh, and the, uh, the real estate to rip off their consumers. It's it's freedom to to rip you off blinds, highway robbery. Show me one example where price controls worked. And don't delude yourself, minimum wage is a price control on labor. Does, you, would, he, would he work for minimum wage? He don't have to. He has enough smarts to get good pay. Don't you understand? So he has his, Don't you he understand don't care the Republican the, argument? So this, this piece of shit has his, and he doesn't care if others don't have theirs. That's correct. That's very correct. How astute of you sound to have like, sound like garnered that, that. Guy from the Jesse Ventura conspiracy <laughs> theory. Which one? There's a guy who says that. Oh yeah? From Jesse Ventura. He, sound, he tells he, it to, to uh, J Judas uh, Sarpong, the, the, the black girl. The black girl. Yeah, there's one particular informant that Jesse has that uh, he was on, uh, occasionally he's on his, his show. How astute of you for saying that. Yeah, but is he saying it you know, like I did in sarcasm? Well, I, I, I'm, because, usually, I'm usually know, on the money. This argument that they use constantly should be well known by everybody. I don't have to accept minimum wage, my boy, because I'm smarter than you and I have a better job than you he, because of that. Because he, he and I, because I am not lazy. Because he feels he's better. He's he's better, smarter, uh, 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 harder working. So he has all these advantages over un unfortunate people, underprivileged or whatever you want to call them, poor. So therefore, Those who have to accept minimum wage. Yeah. Therefore, if he has a business, of course he did it. He, he made his money honestly without screwing anybody over. I'm being sarcastic. And if you don't know, then you should not vote on this question. By the way, this question is on the ballot. Minimum wage? Yeah. I believe is, it's how the many third qu question. How many questions are on uh, there are the three of them. New Jersey ballot? Three. I didn't get mine yet, but I will read even though they are, they use a microscopic font, I will read them. Well, you can get away. They were they're pretty expl uh, explanatory in the introduction to each one. Okay, so the one sentence that leads into them. So, if you read them, you should be okay. So what I'll do is I'll just write down on the outside of the ballot the the, the, the question number and whether it's yay or nay. For me, of course. Uh, and I will joyfully join you at the ballot box and cast my vote for the constitutional amendment to trigger automatic cost of living increases to minimum wage. That's the that's the. Oh, amendment. that's cool. That's the one. I, I was going to knock him out if I saw him at the ballot box. No, <laughs> no. All right, all right. Yes, yes. Of course. Actually, the the minimum wage is long overdue for a humongous retro raise. Humongous. Retro raise to, to cost of living increases. Humongous. This uh, uh, eleven dollars never kept up. This eleven dollars in change an hour does still does not keep up with the high cost of living. It's probably somewhere you I don't know, you know, you know so many figures bandied around, but I would figure it's probably somewhere near thirty dollars that you would need to bring it up. 
to be f fair, to be fair, equal to, to the high cost of after living. all these years. Yeah, I mean, come on, you 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 have rents out there, one bedroom apartments for over a thousand dollars a month, twelve hundred dollars, fifteen hundred. Come on, give me a break. Well, you see, that's what happened. Prices went up, but wages didn't over those thirty some years. Wages have been stagnant since the seventies. Now, in the old days the 30s, the 40s, the 50s, the 60s, and part of the 70s, when profits went up, wages went up. Mm -hmm. That's how the economy worked. Until the 80s! And who was El Presidente in the 80s? Saint who? Saint, R Saint Ronald Reagan. Thank you! Thank well, you. well, I don't recall. <laughs> well, um... Well, I noticed one thing about uh, middle class uh, uh, suckers who, are, who call themselves uh, teabaggers, you know, uh, who vote Republican or conservative. I, I know a few. They're not, they're not financially independent at all, but for some reason, who knows, they're conservative. The well, one thing they have in common is they all feel everything that's American is the best in the world, and you can't ever say that somebody else does anything better than the United States and they're always coming to the defense of everything that happens in the US of A like I mentioned uh, I mentioned uh, um, the fact that the uh, minimum wage in uh, Australia is is much higher than the United States so uh, this, yeah, gen the this gentleman that I know uh, Ken Thiessen automatically says uh, no, but the, the rents in Australia are like astronomically higher than the U.S. Like I don't think so. He mentioned 5000 for a, a month for a... S well, try living in New York City. Yeah, for a little rat hole, a studio is not a studio anymore in Manhattan. It's half that. Get out of there, Smokey. Get him out get of out. there. Hey, get out of there. Leave. Leave, you feral <laughs> bastard. Just a, touch somebody else in this cat I call Minnie the Moocher because he eats all the other cats because he's a moocher yeah he, he likes to eat all the other cats food and, and he's selfish he's a, he's a, he's gluttonous he's he's a, he's yeah, probably a, a he opened his food up it's the same damn food you know he's probably a Republican cat is what I'm trying to say so now, figuring all the figures up and etc cetera, etc cetera, the yeah. richest the richest country on the planet is Norway and it also has the highest tax structure. Yeah, but if you, yeah, but the people with higher income pay the tax burden, right? Yeah, of course. That's but everybody pays tax. But that's there. the fair taxation, mm. you know. I mean, uh, and they have health insurance, and they have this, and they have a great welfare. And so system. does Canada and Europe and, and Australia. They got the na national health care. But and in America, I mean, well, our yeah. welfare system is set up for the big corporations. The welfare system, you know? the people who really get help from welfare are the rich right. in, in subsidies and bailouts. Uh, the poor just get a few crumbs like my grandfather used to say. They don't really get help from any of these government programs. They get like a, like a pat on the back and a few crumbs. Yeah. And the, 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 the taxes on the rich are supposedly 30, I think it's 39.6 now. But none of them pay that. Yeah. Okay? So they get, have tax attorneys. Yeah. So get a, getting they don't pay taxes. They're That's rich. good. Right. They are they've been on a tax vacation for the past thirty years. Getting back to apartments, a, a a rat hole half the size of a studio in Manhattan is like like twenty five hundred dollars a month, maybe even higher. I mean, uh uh why? Because New York is a tourist trap, it's the big apple. I mean uh I mean look at look at with the job market being the way it is how on earth could Americans afford the rents? And if you have a house, how can you afford the property taxes with the mortgage? Can't. There's no jobs out there. But oh, teabaggers still say there's plenty of jobs out there. Well, then again, we get back to the same old, same old deference to the capitalistic system. Why is it that we have to depend on some stupid private corporation 
to grant us our survival. No, we should be in. No, we no, we should have certain human rights. Correct. In this country, and those some of those rights are are uh, um, health care, a good health care, and a good education. They, those are uh, originally are supposed right, to be rights. What about the right to live? I say, without going to some corporation and begging for a job so that you can survive. Why is it that the corporation does not come to you and beg you to work for it? Yeah, they call those like headhunters that go out and they only hire professionals that way. You mean contract employees? I don't know. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the corporation. Yeah. Why is it that Corpor it never seeks you out? Corporation. You have to go. If Walmart moves into a town, oh boy, it's going to provide jobs for everybody. Oh, big so deal. So then the people move there to get the job at Walmart. Listen to me. Why is it that a, that a corporation doesn't move where the jobs are? I have to use the shillelagh in this case. I have to use calming down. Meditation. Even if you are fortunate enough to find one of these all-American apple pie jobs, let's say crap job like retail in Walmart or fast food job, even if you find it and they hire you full-time, which is not 40 hours anymore. No, because they don't want to pay you. You still can't live on the salary they give you, Dr. Bill. But that's my paint. You're not supposed to. The setup is wrong. The setup is not in favor of the worker. So the Walmart employee has to turn around and apply for social services. People on Social Security have to become Walmart greeters to survive. Yeah. That goes back to what we were saying about a happy retirement in the golden years. Ain't it, none. It doesn't exist anymore. Mm -hmm. It doesn't exist anymore. All right, continue. That's it. All right, now the second letter is medium, long, short. There is no second letter. That's it. I have to find one here. All right, there's no problem. It's no, no big deal. No, I got one here, and then that's it. And that's it. That's it. Who's... Okay, here we go. Where is the outrage? It's the of government it. of the United States may shut down next week. That's a good letter. And Republicans in the House of Representatives will be responsible. Sadly, however, it is we, the people, who will suffer. National parks will be closed. Passport applications will be put on hold. Thousands of government workers will be furloughed. Military veterans could also see delays in the processing of their benefits. They already had delays of years! I saw the backlog of veterans' benefit applications. Boxes and boxes of them, which nobody knows is there. Hey, poor, poor they should have died on the battlefield, correct? The poor veterans <coughs> that gave up their lives or limbs brains yeah for the acquisition of some rich the greedy old rich politicians and oil companies um, it's really a shame and then the ones that that did come back alive are living in tents in the woods it is absolutely despicable and and now they want to take away the, the food stamps from these veterans and their families take food out of the children's mouths of these veterans and they dare to do it in the name of God and they do it wrapped in, in uh, holding a cross wrapped in the American flag these are hypocrites of the worst kind they are evil these are evil this is an evil entity and uh, these these morons in America that like to bust my balls on Facebook about it they don't realize what they're saying. They don't realize who they're voting for. They're voting... A vote for a conservative is a vote for Satan. Revelation 12, 9. The whole world is deceived. 
Absolutely. I put that up there on Facebook last night in reference to something. Yeah. All this is due to the fact that Republicans refuse to pay for the Affordable Care Act, which was passed by Congress and upheld by the United States Supreme Court. This is akin to the spoiled brat and taking his ball home if the game isn't going his way. That's how they are. I'm taking my marbles and going home. Somebody uh, took my, my toy. I'm going to take a tantrum now. They, that's how Republicans are. Heaven forbid they should repeal automatic pay raises on congressmen and senators. Heaven forbid they should repeal that, which they should. Your editorial calls this one of the most irresponsible votes in recent memory by extremists in the Republican Party with little regard for the consequences of their actions. I am sorry to say it is also American voters who should be held accountable. Until we vote for politicians who are willing to compromise for the good of the country, we will get government that we deserve. Actually, maybe we should stop voting for politicians. Career politicians... Well, let's vote for a couple of cab drivers. Career politicians are repre representing the two-party system which represents money being in politics. And that's corruption. Once you take money, once you take money out of politics and if Joe Palooka is, is brilliant and honest and Joe Palooka can get his name on the ballot, then then Joe Palooka does, should not have to need millions of dollars to run for office. Then money won't be involved in politics. Huh? Congress and the public must understand that compromise comes from the majority and not the minority. Right. We have seen the power struggles in the Senate and the House where both groups say, my party is bigger than yours, so do it my way only. America has always compromised in ideology and concept for the good of the country. Today's Democrats want to have an unlimited debt ceiling because they like to spend money for their preferences. The Republicans want to address the wasteful spending that gets reported every year by the Congressional Budget Office and various media outlets. Gee, I wonder if it was stopping that spending when they created the